Have you heard of Notebook LM? It is like a smart AI powered research assistant that helps you understand and summarize documents, notes, videos, audios, etc. You can upload documents or any type of media and it lets you ask questions, get summaries and generate insights based on the content. Think of it as ChatGPT but trained specifically on your notes and documents so it gives you answers based on what's inside them rather than general internet knowledge. It can even work as a personal knowledge management for you. In this video, I'll walk you through the Notebook LM app, show you how to use it and also give you examples of some ways I use it to make the best out of it. Hi, this is Anjana and welcome to the Tech Girl channel. Notebook LM is developed by Google and it is using Gemini AI model in its backend. If you give some sources to it like documents, books, videos, web links or even your own notes, it will understand everything about all the data you have given it and it will summarize everything for you. You can even ask specific questions, it can create learning plan and lots more. But wait, ChatGPT, Google Gemini or any other AI model can do pretty much the same, right? What's special about Notebook LM? Well, Notebook LM is designed specifically to answer only from the sources you provide. Meanwhile, ChatGPT and Gemini will also answer based on its knowledge base, internet knowledge or even hallucinate and make up answers. Notebook LM won't do that. It will strictly stick to the sources you have given and answer only based on that. That is the USP of Notebook LM. Okay, let's jump right into the Notebook LM service. Go to notebooklm.google.com. You need to sign in with your Google account. Notebook LM is designed like a note-taking app with multiple notebooks and sources. Each notebook I have created here is for a specific project or a purpose. I'm learning about cinematography specifically to make my YouTube videos better. For that, I've gathered some sources like a couple of books like this one called the 5 C's of Cinematography, this other one which is like 500 pages long, this YouTube video and this web page. Now I can read these one by one myself. Instead, I can ask Notebook LM to do the work for me and it can help me understand the concepts in a much simpler way. Let me start by creating a new notebook by clicking on this button here specifically for learning cinematography. This is the home page of my new notebook. I'll first give it a title by clicking on the top left and naming it as cinematography guide. The home page is also divided into three sections. The left one is where you can add all your sources like books, audio, videos or images etc. The middle part is the chat section. This is where you can interact with AI, ask questions, summarize it. Uh, it's just like ChatGPT. The right section is called the studio. Here you can add notes, generate audio which is my favorite part and a few more things. Now let's start by adding in our sources. I'll click on the add source button on the source panel. This pop-up window opens up. Here I can drag and drop any type of file I have. Let me drop the two very large PDF books. Notebook LM will automatically start processing them. While it's processing, I also want to add my other sources as well. So I'll click on the add source button again. And now I will add the link to the YouTube video I saw before. I also have a web page, let me add that too. Okay, now all my four sources have been processed. In the free version, I can add up to 50 sources per notebook, which is more than enough honestly. As you can see, Notebook LM has already summarized the four sources for me into a crisp paragraph. But here's the interesting part. I can also ask more questions to Notebook LM and it'll find answers from these four sources. I didn't read the whole book, but let me start by asking what are the five C's of cinematography. Right away, Notebook LM has given me the five C's the author was describing. Now, this is an important piece of information, so I can save this answer as a note by clicking on this save to note button. This gets saved in the right section and I can reference it back anytime later. I can continue to ask more questions and Notebook LM will answer by understanding the sources I provided. The best part is it will give you the references from where it's finding the answers from. So you can click on it and go to the exact section in the sources if you want to verify it or read through that by yourself. This is where it differs from ChatGPT or Gemini. Notebook LM's answers are strictly based on the sources you provide. 
which means you can trust these answers more than ChatGPT's answers for correctness. If I want to add my own notes while I'm reading or studying, I can manually take a note by tapping on this add a note button on the right side. Now I can take notes simultaneously while I'm learning. Okay, now my favorite part. You know about ebooks for reading electronically. You even know about audiobooks where someone reads out the book for you. But you see this audio overview section? Notebook LM can generate a podcast style conversational audio for you based on your sources. It'll be like two people talking, questioning, and answering, but in a condensed version. And the quality of audio is just awesome. Let me show it to you. Say I still haven't understood all the topics covered in the 5 C's book and I want to create a podcast style audio. I'll go to the audio overview section, click on customize, I'll specify cover only the book 5 C's of cinematography and tap on generate. It may take a few minutes depending on how big the book is. Once it's generated, you can start playing the podcast style audio which will cover everything for me in the book so easily. Welcome back everybody. Today. Uh, I'm going to deep on a book that's like the filmmaker's Bible, you know? <laughs> it's called Five Seas of Cinematography by uh, Joseph V. Michelli. Classic. And it breaks down like all the core parts of visual storytelling, you know, into these five ideas. Yeah. And it's crazy how relevant they still are, whether you're like a filmmaker, a photographer, or even... Cinematography. Yeah. I'm excited to pick up where we left off, especially with composition. One more amazing feature in this audio overview mode, you can join yourself as a third host and then talk to two other virtual hosts. You can ask questions, add comments and interact like you're interacting with a teacher. To do this, go to the interactive mode and join as a third host. Here you can talk and ask questions like you normally would. Welcome back everybody. Today, uh... Oh, hey, our listener wants to join in. What's up? What are the five C's of cinematography? Great question. Yeah, that's like the core of today's topic. Okay, so the five C's, according to Joseph Michelli, are camera angles, continuity, cutting, close-ups, and composition. Here's another example for you. The one source I gave is my recent YouTube video reviewing the Powerbeats Pro 2 earbuds. Listen to the podcast style summary of my video. All right, so we're going to be diving into these earbuds. Okay. The Powerbeats Pro 2 versus AirPods Pro 2. Mm -hmm. um, and they're both like sitting at that $250 price point. Okay. Which already makes it kind of interesting because they're yeah. packed with features that mm -hmm. both have, you know, the Apple kind of seal of approval because it beats is owned by Apple. Right, right. What do you think? It's so good, right? Think about the possibilities this brings to learners, researchers, and even average consumers. I'll show you one more use case which can be so beneficial for everyone. This Google Doc is a sample health report, nearly 10 pages long and honestly incomprehensible. I'm going to create a new notebook for health analysis and add in this Google Doc report as a source. Now I can directly ask Notebook LM what health data values are out of range. Immediately, it has picked the values which are out of normal range and it even cited the sources if I want to go double check. The report says that the vitamin D levels are below the normal range. I recently saw a YouTube video on vitamin D levels. Let me bring this as a source to Notebook LM and see I can correlate my results to this video. Now let me ask how much vitamin D should I supplement each day? Now Notebook LM has reviewed both the sources and picked out information related to exactly what I asked for. Do not take any medical advice from an AI or any social media. But this is just to show how Notebook LM can be used to correlate data from multiple sources to get a holistic view. I also use a notebook for some financial planning and stock market analysis. These are my financial statements for the year and these are some books on stock market investing. I can ask Notebook LM to consolidate all the information from these sources and I can ask questions, summarize my financial data and create a budget plan for me for the upcoming year. I also use a notebook for party planning and one for recipe book for finding recipes based out of preference and so much more. If you would like to see a deep dive on such cases, let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's everything. I'll catch you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.